That's a good fish right there. What's going on guys? Jacob here, Whisker Whisper Fishing. I got a catfish video for you guys. Yesterday, I went out at about 6.30 and I was throwing the net all the way till 8.45, so I was throwing the net a good two hours plus. I didn't catch much bait. I caught a shad, I caught a carp. I couldn't find bait anywhere. I went inside the creek is where I caught my shad. I caught the only shad I think that was in the creek period. I ran into another boat coming out saying, man, you ain't gonna catch any bait in there. I caught my shad on the first throw. So I thought, man, this is gonna be one I'm gonna catch all kinds of bait, but I was wrong. So I go into the river and I throw the net probably 500 more times and I end up catching a carp probably about this big, just kind of small, but I was able to get two pieces of bait out of it. But it really didn't matter because the fish didn't want the carp. Every fish, both the fish that I caught wanted the shad. But I've got a rod that I want to show you guys and it might raise question. A lot of you guys probably already know what it is. This is the uh, slime cat rod. These are the rods I'm using now. These are medium heavy rods. Uh, they're used for throwing one to 10 ounces of weight. And I've also got it equipped with the must had demon circle hook size nine i'm really raising questions on these hooks though because i had a lot of trouble last night setting the hook and these fish were burying the rod i mean it was literally just touching the water and it still didn't matter it wasn't like the hook was actually getting set in their mouth i had all the pole set up carolina rig about five ounces away and the only fish i caught ate the midsection of the shad but i hope you guys enjoy the video I appreciate you watching subscribe to the channel and like it if you like it let's get at it Looky there. Look at that. Oh. Alright guys, so spent all day trying to catch some bait. Haven't been doing too well. Uh caught a couple shad when I first came in. I was anchored up right here. This is a good fish. And uh, the boat's not staying straight, so I wanted to suspend some rod off the side here. A little piece of shad. A little piece of shad about a foot off the bottom, and we got a fish. I'm trying some uh, different hooks. I got a demon circle hooks never used them before first time seems like they've done the job pretty well it's a nice fish my best flathead for a while see what's going on there it looks like something's happening let's take care of this one he got the hook right in the corner of the mouth he ain't even hooked that hook wasn't even in the corner of his mouth there he is not a bad first fish for the night I wasn't thinking I was going to catch anything tonight. Nothing was biting off the back of the boat. Kept seeing marks up underneath the boat. And it's weird because all these fish were suspended. There you have him. Hopefully the lighting's good enough. Let's put him back in the water. Good old belly on him. He's got a nice mark on the bottom of his mouth right there. Right below the gill. Say so he's out there fighting with some other ones. That was pretty interesting. I didn't even have the camera on. Hit the button, turned it on real quick. And I think this guy gave me my bait back. No, he did not. That was uh, my last piece of shad. Well, I got, I've actually got a piece of shad on this pole right here. And in the back there, I got a carp. I was only able to catch one shad. Ooh, still got it. Right there it is on the bottom of my line. Just a nice little medium, medium sized middle chunk of shad. I'm gonna drop it right off the side of the boat again and see if uh, I can get it to bend over. He just hooked himself. I don't know how I feel about the demon circle hook. It don't, it's not a really wide gap hook. I don't know if they make them wide gap. Maybe I'm using the wrong one, but uh, it worked. Just wasn't really in the mouth too great, but uh, got the fish in the boat. So we're gonna drop it down to the bottom. I do, I'm not drifting. I've actually got the anchor down. I'm just suspending right off the side. Got a lot of activity up underneath us. I'm thinking we'll get on another one here before long.
That's a really good fish right there, guys. That takedown was unreal. It's a big fish. He's digging in there. This has been my lucky rod so far. Some that same piece of bait. Yes, we got a plant here. My buddy Daniel there doing some poaching. Just got all my new slime cat rods. Much better fish right here. Oh, look at that hoss. Not a giant, but this fish will go at least 25 pounds, I'd say. I'm gonna get a scale on him. I'm gonna hold him up here for a, I'm just gonna screenshot it off there for a picture. But it's definitely a really long fish. Man, these guys are just biting two, three foot off the bottom. Eighteen fifteen. Almost twenty pounder there. He looks a little bit bigger than that, but we're gonna go by what the scale says. How many fish can I catch on the same piece of bait? An awful night or awful day of trying to catch bait. It turned into one of my best flathead nights so far. This floor is slick for me throwing the net all day. I think there's a fish on this pole right here. Maybe not. It looked like it for a second. We've got a daggone mess here. Same old piece of bait. Look how tore up that thing is right there. I'm going to put it back out there again. The wife just called me and said we got some bad thunderstorms headed this way. So hopefully I can catch a, another fish before we get some crazy weather that hits out here in the middle of the night. And hopefully my camera and stuff don't die because it seems like we're kind of getting into them. And they're all wanting the middle section of this shad. So I'm not really sure if I'm actually if my camera's actually catching the bites or not the pole's kind of off to the side here towards the front so we'll find out whenever i go to edit <laughs> i hope it is because these fish are burying it burying it under the rock all right guys so i'd say the bait that i have on my poles right now is probably losing its scent they've been out there for a while i've caught two fish on just this piece of bait right here and the wife called me and said there's a storm blowing in so it's probably about 20 minutes out <laughs> So I think I'm going to call it a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure to go over and check out Whisker Whisper Fishing on Facebook. I created the group for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.